in this media we are going to discuss a very 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 important topic that is ME engine and RT flex engine so you all know that ME nomenclature is introduced by man BMW and we have RT flex engine which is being introduced by your Sulger engine but now Sulger is being taken over by Watsila so it is being acquired by Watsila so it's one of the same thing but Sulger was the one key player who used the term RT flex okay now we'll see the difference just we'll go through the abstract I have tried to collect it from different websites so it is very important to know as an engineer working on ship and very important question as per your oral point of view ki what are the key differences between your main engine and RT flex engine so when we speak about two manufacturers of this two stroke engine that is crosshead engine have both introduced a camshaft less engine see both the engines whether it is ME engine by MAN BMW and your RT flex engine by Sulger or Watsila now this Sulger calls it as RT flex engine now both these engine are camshaft less so we have done away with this camshaft so camless engine we can tell both the engine this is the common feature now Sulger calls this RT flex engine and MAN BMW calls as intelligent engine both engine use electrical and engine driven axial piston pump so this is a similarity between both of them that both are using what is the electrical and engine driven axial piston pump to pressurize servo oil rail to 200 bar which are then used for fuel injection in exhaust valve operation now this is being used by for your uh, fuel injection and exhaust valve operation in addition man uses a servo oil to drive the cylinder lubricator unit that is alpha lubrication system we have in man bmw okay so this we all know servo oil to drive the cylinder lubricating alpha system although both work without camshaft and use computers to control fuel injection exhaust valve operation and air starting the method of fuel injection is different now these things are being uh, introduced your uh, controlled by your computer that is your fuel injection exhaust valve operation of air starting method of fuel injection is different which is a broader difference between both your any engine and your RT flex engine now unlike Sulger RT flex engine man ME engine does not operate the fuel injection on a common rail injection system now this term this your common rail injection system is being introduced by your Sulger that is RT in RT flex engine now instead a solenoid operated proportionating valve now in man BMW what we have is known as FIVA that is fuel injection valve actuation allows the pressurized servo oil under a hydraulic piston this then moves the fuel piston upwards raising the fuel pressure and opening the injection valves a nitrogen field accumulator maintain the hydraulic servo oil pressure during the operation of the pump now to be able to time the fuel injection the control system must know the crank angle of the individual unit to do this two crank angle sensors are fitted at the free end of the engine so you must have seen that is a these sensors are fitted these sensors are actuated to 0.1% cylinder pressure and powers are continuously monitored by using strain gauges built in to the cylinder head and computer automatically compensates for twist in the crankshaft when relating camshaft position to cylinder pressure the system gives complete flexibility over start and end of the injection and take into account fuel quality dead time the time between injection and start commanding being given and actual injection and variable injection timing so this was the case with your um, this type of engine in difference in fuel injection timing so one uses is a common rail injection system the other one you what you are using is a FIVA that is fuel injection valve actuation okay now Watsila versus man marine engine who is the best so we'll see some differences in uh, all together the stronger the marine engine the better is the ship's propulsion power and ship speed when it comes to selecting marine engine for ships there are only a few countable names in the market including man bmw and watsila so we also have mitsubishi engine mhi okay in the article we are going to compare the two most powerful marine engine brands in the maritime industry as discussed in 
one one of our previous article the most powerful marine propulsion engine the man diesel turbo previously known as man v and w and watsila previously known as soldier are the two front runner so mostly the market is being dominated by man v and w in in both of them also giants for supplying propulsion solution to the shipping watsila and man both are in fact two rivals who have the best products and research and development in the industry in the article will compare both propulsion techniques now watsila versus man engines when we are talking about we'll see on what all grounds we have these differences and who has an upper hand who has a who gets the edge over the other when technology when we speak about technology that is when it is when we speak about intelligent engine then watsila and soldier this artiflex a complete electronically controlled engine with common rail system so we have it is a com a complete electronically controlled engine with common rail system when we speak about man diesel turbo then man engine complete electronically controlled engine integrated with hydraulic control so we have it is known as watsila for installing an intelligent engine technology in 2001 prior to man 2003 so watsila has an upper hand they installed it in 2003 man came up with this intelligent engine concept in 2003 so now when we speak about fuel injection Uh, we have is here is common rail here we have is hydraulic so here also watsila has an upper edge uh, you must have uh, seen <coughs> because common rail injection is very uh, good and it is very friendly when we speak about system electronic control with delta injection system we have and here actuated electronic control injection system integrated uh, delta control with three injectors controlled independently for different load so the watsila has an upper hand over it now when we speak about exhaust valve control electronic controlled variable exhaust valve timing so for uh, watsila we have here we have camshaft operated exhaust valve for reliable operation man for integrating a smart mechanical exhaust valve operation in intelligent engine for reliable operation now when we speak about fuel injectors convention we have conventional type of fuel injectors now here we have zero sack volume type fuel injectors with slide valve now this sack volume and all these things we have covered in a very separate video please watch that video it must you must find man slide type fuel injectors reduces after burning and hence nox so nox and sox you all know is coming very much handy uh, in the market uh, emission so when we speak about fuel pump it is spill suction valve controlled pump with vit here we have jerk type plunger barrel control pump with super vit man super vit with independent injection time control with respect to fuel index now when we speak about starting air system starting air valve opened by 30 bar in and a closing supply for positive shut along with spring a relief valve in air manifold to avoid over pressure during starting air line okay so this is the case with your watsila starting air valve open by 30 bar air and shut by spring bursting this provided to avoid over pressure during explosion here watsila has an upper hand additionally safety provided in positive closing and relief valve for reliability during manu maneuvering so watsila here has an upper edge over man b and w now the other other point wherein uh, who has an upper edge we'll see is the piston and rings convex shaped piston with jet shaker cooling chromium coated piston ring so uh, this we have jet shaker cooling so you have to remember this ki how in watsila this piston ring is being cooled now here we have oros type piston for better combustion area and reduction in piston temperature control pressure relief type top piston ring now man with oros piston and maximum piston temperature reduces by 90 degree centigrade with cpr cpr ring okay now better pressure distribution on liner and lower ring so man here has an advantage over the now we have cylinder liner fine honed and bore cooled liner with mid layer insulation bore cooled liner watsila better cooling and insulation increases cylinder liner life 
main bearing white metal bearing lined tri metal bearing with high load high load uh, on the uh, so here what we have is one second white metal bearing lined lined on thin back okay and in man bmw what we have is tri metal bearing with high load with your high load carrying capacity okay now here also you see that man tri metal bearing with long life so means with long life and better embeddability so here also man has a upper edge now when we speak about cross head that is 12 to 15 bar pressure from separate pump supplied to bigger size plane bearing small size bearing with oil wedges to retain oil which is supplied by normal system pressure now what Silla elevated pressure ensures better lubrication at high load a backup line is provided in case of failure of cross head pump when we speak about cylinder lubrication electronically controlled pulse lubrication system with metered quantity injection okay here in case of what Silla in alpha adaptive cylinder lubrication control system allowing blending of cylinder oil for your different for your sorry for different grade of sulfur in fuel so for different grade of sulfur you have in fuel now here you see man acc with different inputs like sulfur content and load index provide better neutralizing features so man has an upper edge when we speak about drive so gear drive driven with timing gear driving the camshaft chain driven with two chains driving a camshaft man behind man diesel turbo chain drives are cheaper lighter and easier to maintain and duplication provides backup now turbo charging when we speak about prefers the axial turbo charger with constant pulse system variable turbine angle turbo charger provides better operation at all load range man vta allows engine to run without auxiliary blower at low load operation so here man has an upper upper head upper edge now exhaust valve conventional valve seat with conventional valve seat with mnemonic and stellite coating stellite coating okay here we have w seat for better operation and increased time between overall uh, overall dura spindle with better heat resistant property so here man w seat allows cooling of exhaust valve during combustion stroke so with which your temperature reduces and your life of overall increases now when we speak about miscellaneous system some of the things which is tribo pack allows increased time between overall of cylinder components up to three year electronic monitoring system for safe operation electronic monitoring system for safe operation what's you love with tribo pack which is a package of design measures increases the tbo to three years okay so from the above comparison it can be seen that the man has an edge over Watsila by a thin margin however with the world's most powerful marine engine Watsila RT Flex 96C in its baskets Watsila is one company that does not have to prove anything so this is one's demand and what one's need on based on that because someone has on liner someone has a main bearing someone has lubrication someone has upper edge on these things so one what needs someone has upper edge on nox okay someone who works in overall time overall interval so what the your engine manufacturers need so that will decide how much we are supposed to we, we are what we are supposed to install and what what engine we are supposed to install so i've taken these extract from all the different sources it is very important and I hope all the points, uh, all the points are being covered here based on that. So you can pause the video slowly and you can make a note of it and then again you can watch it. Thank you for your support and uh, thank you for your valuable time. I hope you like the video. All the very best for your exams.